Hi, I'm Penelope Stewart. As a Canadian artist, I've long admired the honeybee as a source of inspiration for my work, and I'm not alone. Many artists working today are inspired by the bee and its unique culture and social order. The desire and loss represented in my work, and that of so many others, are not only metaphors for our aspirations of returning to the green world, they are also linked directly to the devastating situation of the honeybee in our modern, urbanized and industrial environments. Perhaps the biggest danger of all facing humans is the loss of the global honeybee population. The consequence of a dying bee population impacts us at the highest levels, posing a grave threat to the human food chain, thus our survival as a species. This documentary will show how important the bee is to the human creative impulse by focusing on the work of key Canadian artists and also the art of Canadian beekeepers. We need your help to finish the documentary. We have interviewed many artists, beekeepers and experts, shot over 30 hours of footage but still need money for post-production and marketing. Our post-production crew is ready to roll and we need your help to put them to work. Now watch a short promotional reel that will give you a sense of the fascinating documentary on bees and the creative process. The first time I opened a beehive, like I thought I had flown away somewhere, somewhere far. Uh, and what got me was the, the warmth that, and the aroma the, that comes out and meets you, it just meets you. When I thought of working or collaborating with the honeybees, I thought, well, how are they going to make art? And then I thought, no, you have to turn that around, Agonitha. How am I going to communicate with them to make something? Because they're so creative. I mean, whatever you place into the hive, they will accept somehow or reject. I had, I had to learn to follow what they were doing, or I didn't have to. I wanted to know what the bees were doing. I wanted to know how the bees, how they made that decision to go one direction or the other direction. very much came from this thing that beekeepers already know and that is when you're calm your bees are calm and when your bees are calm you're calm and there, it, there's this amazing kind of um, relationship between the beekeeper their temper their movement and then the mood of the bees and um, I wondered you know if one beekeeper can calm 50,000 little insects what could a hundred beekeepers, you know, in this huge scale, in a huge venue, what could they produce with their sort of calm, their attentiveness, their focus? Um, could we calm the audience, you know? Could we calm the air? Could we calm um, the city of Toronto? Could we affect, you know, collectively uh, the world? Beautiful. I've entitled it Vanitas as I think that um, we need sometimes to be reminded of our mortality and the 17th century Baroque paintings were such that they uh, helped to remind us of that all things are fleeting and so the paintings would portray the bounty of life, um, the opulence and also a little bit of decay to remind us that not all things were going to stay the same. So you can see that um, the hive behind me, and you can enter it, and inside you'll see the tiles, and spilling out the back are all the tropes of the Venetas. What well, could be the jugs of wine, the, um, the cups, the plates, the sort of the excesses of, uh, of our time. It seems that the bees, um, uh, their health has been affected by probably various things in our environment. So climate change, um, pesticides, uh, um, you know, industrialization, industrial agriculture. They've become to some extent a kind of um, canary in the mine. You know, they, they represent um, uh, what can happen if we're not careful about uh, 
how everything in our environment is interconnected and if we neglect to attend to one thing, um, many other terrible things could happen, you know, in, in the wake.